himself, he punches Roundhouse, and knows that he's going to go right into DX. Ow! Oh, he tried the red parry. He tried the red parry. He can punish that with Super, but I don't think he can punish it otherwise. Oh, wow. Both of them jumping at each other, trying to parry, taking his attack. Nice hit confirm. That is not easy. That is really hard to do it's off It's a lot harder to hit confirm that crotch than big than Chun Li's crotch. Right. Much easier to hit confirm off of low strong, but of course, low strong doesn't reach as far and doesn't hit low. Right, you can carry it high and low. A lot of crouching normals like uh, strong and pierce can be, can be carried both high and low. So can all swords and jabs. Even if, in fact, the opponent ducks under the jab during her parry animation. For example, if Q does both standing jab and Chun down parries it, her, hit by her, her graphical hitbox will be nowhere near <laughs> Q's standing jab, but she can parry it anyway. Ow! That backswing blow causes so much dizzy and damage. Omar Duck playing really well right now. Oh no, he had a chance there. Didn't get it. Dudley fully stopped. They, oh, again, another one. That jump round out is such a great hitbox. There we go. There's that mix that we were talking about overhead or low There it is! Exactly! Boomer Duck 2 to 1 over Sid Sid. Before. That's where Dudley's strength comes from that. Low short, low short, hit confirm in the super, or overhead in the super. That and his classiness. Boomer Duck has played all of his matches, but he's having so much fun, he doesn't want to get up and leave. <laughs> Oh, I was trying to keep track of what was happening, but uh, I guess I'm completely out of it. So I made this whole little matchup chart here to try to keep things, uh, to, uh, keep track of things, but oh well. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> so now uh, Alex Sanchez is maybe coming back up. Oh yeah, by the way, hey, about Sanchez. these uh, art graphics here drawn by the awesome Stanley Lau, it's randomly chosen who shows up on that menu screen there. Okay. And not only is it randomly chosen, but as you play the game, the characters that you use more will start showing up more often on that oh, menu cool. screen. So it starts to become customized to your preferences. That's really cool. Uh, yeah, this is, this is a match that I know Sanchez likes. I know he likes playing this match. Nice. The fake tick throw is a standing jab. You can't jump out of that. Oh, the boots! Oh, he's working out perfect. There with his special. Almost got him busy. If he had got him busy there, that would have been done for a uh, Goes in the direction when he wants to stay super. Ken is so damaging even when he doesn't have super. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, it was like we said again. Why did it hit? But it does. <laughs> Getting so people nice. worried about standing up and high parrying and stuff like that. They're not surprised by that DDT. I mean, when you first see that move and you say, you can crouch it. So how will it ever be useful? Sanchez will find a way. Oh, way too far. Yeah, he didn't struggle. Yes, he can. No! Oh! Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Oh, he's doing the cat daddy. He did the straight up cat daddy. <laughs> and he knows he's got another game to play, but he's, he's uh, all the way still at the other side of the screen. Slowly moseying on him. Oh, is he not gonna play? What's that? Was that two games and I just forgot? I guess it was. I guess it, I guess that's what happened. <laughs> well, that was a very right? fast, that was a very fast two games. I gotta say. Yo, I can't believe he just did. He did the cat daddy. The I know. The cat daddy. I don't think they caught it on the stream, and I'm really sad I know. about that. Dude, I'm gonna have to. You know what? I'm gonna text him right now. Do the cat daddy again. <laughs> just for no reason. Just to do it. Uh, suddenly trying to get him trapped in the corner here. Yeah, and, and the interesting thing about Chun Li's character is that you have to do it from far medium. If you're too close, the close medium actually doesn't increase her throw rate. Nice! I got the Once again, Ken's not oh, actually. No, it, it's good. It, it, it increases damage. Yeah, it's it, it, like in this game, taunts are not just useless. Uh, it's actually, it actually do things. Yeah. You heard the audience go, oh, yeah. they just think he's being uh, cocky now. Oh, I love the walking towards, he's so confident. Yeah, and that Chun-Li standing around now is such a dangerous move. If it hits you while you're
of Crouchy. She can actually link it right into her super hard two. She is so oh, he can link it. Yep, on Crouchy. Oh, missed it. And he's gonna lose. Yeah, you, that links. Yeah, and the re oh, and, the, and it's a one frame link though. Yeah, it's a one it's frame very link. close. And uh, the recommendation is the piano, the three buttons to activate your super to give you six chances to land that properly. Back Pierce. Oh, he wants the slap. Back strong. <laughs> Yeah, when you get hit while you're couching, every character reels one frame longer, which is why that standing roundhouse links only if the opponent is couching. Ow. And right now... Uh, you, see, you see that Shen Chang, when he gets in a certain range, it feels like he can't press buttons because suddenly he has such excellent punches and uh, oh, no. he's so damaging with that super behind them. Very unfortunate for Shin that that upper can only hit once and whip the rest of the hits. Yeah, within a certain range, suddenly it's, it's in very strong control. And right now, Shin Chang, oh, look at that. He's going for crazy throws here. And oddly enough, even though Ken has the longest throw range, uh, Kara throw range in Street Fighter 4, in uh, this game, it's not nearly as effective. Nope. Yeah, Chun-Li, as you were saying, has the best type of cube. Oh, no, he didn't get it. Oh, big punish right there. Has to be strong uppercut to combo into that super. And in this, game, in this game, there is no crouch tech. That's something we see a lot in Street Fighter 4. Um, there, there literally is a crouch tech. If you press down, plus jab short, you'll just wait, you'll get jab. But it's not an effective tool at all. So you really, you want to only throw tech when you really, really think you got to throw tech. I mean, the main reason why is I heard you can tech while crouching in this game. The problem is, yeah. you can fade it out and just parry it. It's an automatic down parry with 100% of the characters. Yeah. There's not a single character who's down and tech will end up in a thing that you have to parry straight. So it's so easy to fade that out in this game. You don't have to go for frame tech. Yeah, it doesn't it's not work the same way at all. Yeah, just straight up parry it. Some talk about what to do next here between the players. Alright. And alright, they're just going right back into a rematch. God, I love that digitized art. It looks so nice. Yeah, it's cool. And you know, I mean, most of the time when they add that filter to smooth out the pixels in the game, in the characters, it always looks a little wonky. But I have to say, this looks beautiful right now. Man, I love how uh, Amir will do... Oh, no, he didn't get the... the I love how Amir will do the legs after that corner situation right there. The legs are great there because uh, Perry will be very, very difficult. A little bit of damage, but they also put it back with the perfect positioning. Right. And actually, I think uh, Derek has actually even mentioned that every character uses a different smoothing filter. Oh, really? A different smoothing filter algorithm. They went through a bunch of different wow. smoothing algorithms just to find the one that made them look the best. And that's they chose really cool. that one for the character. That's awesome. I mean, that's the kind of dedication we have to making this game. Oh, tried to hit confirm it. Got a little oh, too no. overzealous there. Only one throw. Maybe he wanted the corner. Suddenly, this is one of the most dangerous situations. In the corner against Suddenly. Oh man, that Pierce goes into it. Uh, a couple of opportunities, but still, as we're saying, touch medium kick is not easy at all to uh, hit confirm as can. Yeah, I'm surprised I haven't seen Shin Chang using a lot of low strong hit confirms at all. Low strong or stand strong hit confirms. Yeah, man. Now, Chun Li can actually hit confirm off of her low board only because the buffer window for her low board, for some other reason, extends past the active frames. Like, even while she's recovering, you can cancel it. And that allows her to hit confirm a little bit longer. Nice hit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I like the back that. Wow! Interrupted the EX fireball. This will be all the way into the corner. No, he missed the short. Usually you get that short and you can get a mix-up. Oh, you can dash under him or over him. Poor Amir. I don't, I don't know if he's got the carrot throw yet today. Is it dash under him or over him? Is it dash under him or not dash Oh, here's that crouching trunk. No, he didn't oh. get that one. And there is back strong in the super Amir. Evens it up 1-1. I mean, in Street Fighter 4, it's very easy to hit a lot of those run frame links into specials. Because you can kind of match the specials and the window is kind of big that'll let you uh, do those moves. But in this game, you really have to be on point to be able to do something like low strong in the super. And once again, I mean, you know, just as we use blinking to do the normal one frame links in this game, you want to piano all three buttons when you try to link those supers. Because all button activations uh, do the exact same version. There's no different versions between the three different buttons for 
Uh, I would say all the supers, there may be one. No, no, there, I mean, there, there are definitely, there, there are some supers where it's like that. But most not. Oh, nice. Yeah, it caught the tippy toe of the Crash Medium kick there. Alright, what looks like he got? Uh oh. He went for it. Oh, he saw it this time. Maybe he just knew it would work. And so Chip, right. oh, this is a very dangerous situation. Oh, uh, like, and he almost had it, too. In, in third strike, the end of a round when a person's on chip death becomes crazy time. I know. Because that's when uh, anything's going to work if it works, which means that things that are normally very risky uh, become more reasonable. Right. But at the same time, you know that your opponent has Barry in mind. Right. And it's so interesting because even though it's a very common situation where you think it's either going to be Barry or whatever, there's like 17 different results that I've seen from that chip damage situation. It's really crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Well, again, we're going to get to see it. Oh, oh see, see, see what this is about. Now, you actually can carry the Dragon Punch low, but he didn't think that uh, that Amir would expect to have to carry four times. Right, right. So, yeah, that's what that was about. He was probably just doing uh, crouching uh, parry, maybe into throw, maybe into another button, right. not into...